there is still more work to be done. The war is not over. But with the conclusion of these agreements and the courage of the Iraqi people and the Iraqi troops and American troops and civilian person personnel, it is decisively on its way to being one. ولكن مع توقيع هذه الاتفاقية ومع الشجاعة التي يظهرها ويبديها شعب العراق وجنوده وجنود الولايات المتحدة والمدنيين فإننا نقترب كثيرا من هذه النهاية شكرا جزيلا <تصفيق> أولاً أود أن أشكركم نتيجة الاعتذار نيابة عن شعب العراق أن مثل هذه الأحداث لا تقلقني وبالنسبة للصحفيين إذا كنتم تسألون عن الحقائق فأن مقاس الحذاء الذي أبقي كان مقاس عشرة شكرا لقلقكم ولكن أرجوكم ألا تنزعجوا الآن هل هناك سؤال؟ A question, uh, Mr. Prime Minister and others, you also talk, you all talked about the various gains that will come as a result of signing this agreement. Uh, but just quickly, I have one question about the withdrawal of American forces. Is this going to be an accelerated process that will happen quickly and perhaps prematurely? Uh, first of all, we're here at the uh, uh, at the request of the Iraqi government. It's an elected government. نحن هنا بناء على طلب من الحكومة العراقية المنتخبة. There are certain benchmarks that will be met, such as troops out of the cities by June of uh, 09. هناك بعض الأمور الواضحة منها خروج القوات الأمريكية من المدن مع حلول شهر يونيو حزيران 2009. And then there's a benchmark at the end of the agreement. وكذلك هناك أيضا نقطة أخرى في نهاية الاتفاق. As to the pace of uh, meeting those agreements, that will depend, of course, upon the Iraqi government, the recommendations of the Iraqi military, and the close coordination between, uh, you know, General Odierno and our military. بالنسبة للسرعة في تنفيذ الانسحاب 
هذا يتوقف على أمور عديدة منها تقييم الحكومة العراقية التذكية والنصائح التي تقدم من القوات العسكرية العراقية والأمريكية وكذلك تقييم جنرال أوديرنو قائد قواتنا هنا هذه الاتفاقيات هي شيء في غاية الأهمية وحكومة العراق عملت بشكل شاق حتى يقر البرلمان العراقي هذا الاتفاق You want? You okay, uh, Jennifer. No, no, no. Do what? Yeah. So what if the guy threw a shoe at me? Right. No, I consider it an important step in, 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 uh, on the road toward an Iraq that can sustain itself, govern itself, and defend itself. But let me talk about the guy throwing the shoe. Uh, it is one way to gain attention. Uh, it's, it's like going to a political rally and having people yell at you. It's like driving down the street and have people not gesturing with all five fingers. It's a way for people to draw, you know, attention. I don't know what the guy's cause is, but one thing is for certain, he caused you to ask me a question about it. I didn't feel the least bit threatened by it. Uh, these journalists here were very apologetic. They were, you know, they were said this is, this doesn't represent the Iraqi people, but that's that's what happens in free societies where people try to draw attention to themselves, and so. I guess he was effective because he caused you to say something about it. Now, in terms of the agreements, this is a major achievement. Is it the end? Absolutely not. There's more work to be done. And uh, all this basically says is we've made, we've made good progress and we'll continue to work together to achieve peace. That's what we want. Freedom and peace. And so, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm honored to be back here. It's my fourth visit to Iraq and uh, as a sitting president, and I have been looking forward to this visit. Uh, it's um, it's uh, very kind of you, Mr. Prime Minister, to have invited me here. Okay, you want to, you want to translate? Um. it'd be a heck of a lot easier, <laughs> just so long as I'm the dictator. <laughs>